things to sell for money, which is copper and scrap metal. So if you have over a thousand to five thousand um, scrap metal, you get like seven hundred dollars. Not only seven hundred dollars, but like a hundred dollars to sell. So I'll go ahead and show you here right now. So we're gonna get. We have over five hundred. So we're gonna five hundred to hundred. So we're gonna go to Oof. we're gonna get five thousand if we can, which is seven fifty one. We're gonna try and get that. We're gonna try. We have fifty seven copper, which is gonna be around a hundred something or seventy nine. Seventy dollars. We're gonna try and get at least five thousand copper, or five hundred or just a hundred copper, or five hundred copper. We'll do that. Get six hundred fifty of that. So those are the two best things to sell after you get over five hundred and five thousand. To get those because scrap metal is easy all you gotta do is just do battles and win the battles and you get like 15 to 17 parts of it even if you if you die in the battle and your teammates still win then you'll still get scrap metal or if you lose the whole battle you'll still get money so um, we're gonna just do some battles quick and also season will and power is the power the easiest because it's win 15 battles Win 10 battles and raids. Destroy 15 players using machine guns. Install cooling modules. You're gonna have to get the cooling modules probably from the market. Win 10 battles. Install cannons. Cannons be hard. Win install. Win 10 battles. Install shotguns. Already have those. It's easy. Win 7 battles. Install machine guns. Easy. And raids. Win 10 battles. Install. Boosters, I you have to get those out of the thing too, or you can just do the missions to get them. Destroy 15 players using cannon and install radars. Those are kind of easy but hard at the same time. So we're gonna get scrap metal right now. And the best way to kill people is by shooting their tires and their guns. Shoot the guns first and then shoot the tires, or shoot the tires off first to get them where they can't move, and then shoot the guns off so they can't shoot you, and shoot all their tires so they can't wait. Really attack you at the same time so um, probably the best thing to do is shoot the tires off first and then shoot their guns at least shoot one to two tires off to make they get they spin around circles to where they can't move at all almost then shoot their um that's probably the best way shoot the guns off and then shoot the tires or shoot the tires off it depends on how good like, what your guns are and all that so like I usually go for the guns first because they're the hardest to, to kill, and then I go for their w wheels. I can shoot their wheel. There we go. See, he could not move, so I got to kill him quick because he wasn't. He was unmobilized, where he could just spin around circles, or he could at least drive like one way. You shoot off, if you shoot two off his, his one side, then it makes it even harder for them to drive. It makes it where they probably possibly can't drive at all because they'll just spin around circles. Or they'll just drive into a wall and it's stuck. And if you lose any guns, don't worry, just go for the base and that's the easiest thing to do. But if your car is really little, just stay back and let your teammates do it. Because if your car is totally little, then you're probably going to blow it up as soon as you go in there. So, like, my car is big enough to where I can just take a lot of bullets and it won't blow up too quick. Unless they shoot my cab and my gas tanks in the back, then I'll probably die. And spinning around circles is also easier because it keeps them from getting you quicker. They can't always shoot one spot and blow you up as quick, but they also can't blow you up. And, uh, the whole team came back for that, which we're probably gonna either lose or they're gonna win. So yeah, the best thing to do is probably just shoot the tires and their guns off and then you're easy to go. If they have a cannon, shoot the cannon. Most of all, don't shoot the guns. If, if they have machine guns or mini guns, don't worry about them. Worry about the cannon first because the cannon can hurt you more than the machine guns can.
the best thing to do is also probably add more mini guns or I mean machine guns. The cannon's kind of easy. The cannon's okay, but it's hard to use. It depends how good you are with a cannon. If you're good with a cannon, just use a cannon. If you're not good with a cannon, just use machine guns. And if you, um, just the best thing to do is just keep doing machine guns over and over. Or just keep doing cannon over and over. Get the cannon, do that over and over if you like cannons. Just keep doing machine gun over and over if you like machine guns. Because every time you level up, you get to put another part part on your car. So, like, I had three yesterday that I got where I got leveled up. I can put four guns on my thing now. So, that's the best thing to do is just level up and get to where you can get, like, more parts on your vehicle. And put one more uh, machine gun on your car. Or a cannon. That depends on what you like better. Had the rock, he had a rocket launcher thing. Um, yeah, you can do this thing. You can do this. With this guy did. He has armor around his tires, which is a pretty smart idea. So you can't shoot your tires out as good. I mean, you can still shoot them, but it takes them longer to get to your tires, which is good. And he has a cannon on top, which means you can turn it all around if you want. This guy did where the the gas tanks also explode, so don't put the gas tanks pretty much out in the middle, or they'll shoot them and blow you up. But the best thing to do is probably put them like under their armor, like the uh, where his uh, gun thing, where his uh, gun mount is. Put the things there and cover them out, like cover, like put them right down in this thing right here. That's the best idea to do with them. But yeah, this is, that's probably the best idea. Just like this guy did. He put the fuel tanks and everything inside the thing where they can't get blown up as quick. So yeah, it's um, I have the, I have time. I have an hour, pretty much, cause my, that's the highest thing I can go to. So I'll probably quit around like 59 minutes or 58 minutes. So I don't get cut out when I'm talking, so it doesn't cut me out from like talking and mess everything up where I miss like half my video and all that. So pretty much the video is gonna be about me just trying to kill people quicker and trying to go up quicker. So the best way to level up is probably doing raids because it, just don't don't worry about the things. Just kill people because if you kill them, you get more points. Like in uh, um, Jack and the Pump Jacks, just go around killing people because that also makes you level up and the time comes back by four seconds, which means you kill you kill enough people, you'll still have time. You'll still have more time to kill people and. You won't worry about that. You won't ever die. Um, like to quit. If you kill enough people, then you'll, you'll, never, you'll never lose. You can sit there like an hours and hours to kill people. But it depends on how good your vehicle is. If you blow up twice, then you're not come back. You have to wait till the, your teammates finish and all that. In battles, don't worry about their base unless you're like the last one and you have no guns on your vehicle or any kind of weapon. Then go straight for their base. But if you have a whole bunch of guns and cannons. Then um, just worry about just um, shooting people because if you shoot all their teammates off, then you just I'm not gonna win. Which is also more points than just taking over a base. Like I always, just go for the people. I don't go for the base unless I lose my guns. But cannons can hurt your vehicle more than the machine guns do, so take them off first. This guy's pretty smart, but his his armor fell off pretty good quickly, so it's not that good. And 
And fuel tanks also a good weapon because if they blow you up around around them, they'll get blown up too and cut on fire because it's the explosive will kill them. It's a ten, it's like a ten radius, something like that. So if you ever shot someone and you blow up, they probably you probably either get kill assist or kill, or to take part of his car off. I'm going to put a drill in my car too sometimes to make it more like effective by killing. Sorry about that. So yeah, I'm probably going to try to get the drill on my vehicle because that's probably like more able to kill somebody because all I got to do is run into them and they can't really kill me as quick as, they, as I can kill them with the drill. <laughs> Sorry. The gun mount's okay, but the gun mount also, I mean, it's good because it gives you more structure power. But, um, the problem is, don't put your guns beside each other because the, the guns will shoot each other if you're facing one way. But if they're, like, a little angled, they'll probably shoot better because they don't hit each other as quick. But if they're, straight, if they're in a straight line, you can't aim straight down like I did, but I, I go to the side because like that. Because then they have like I have all four guns aiming one way, shooting them all, which is probably better than just having or one shoot, one or two shoots at once. When I have all four, so when you shoot, so I turn to like the left or the right, like this is probably better. And it depends on what kind of vehicle you have, unless you have your guns like angled when they ain't gotta shoot each other when you're looking like that. Then you probably it probably be easier. So like I'll turn to the right right here and shoot this guy because he can't wait because I can't shoot him with all four guns from facing forward. But cannons also are probably damaging me more than anything. So you want to probably sneak around, like sneak around behind the cannons to shoot them because they, if they're on top of the roof or on a gun mount, they can't turn all the way around. But if they're on like the hood, they can actually turn around all the way. This guy has his tires exposed, which is okay, but see, we killed every single one of him or took him to the base, which makes it go quicker. So I'm not going to talk no more. I'm going to show you the best way. Just watch how the vehicle does because the guns... When you're facing sideways and you shoot at them, it makes them all four shoot at them. But when I get like a higher level where I can put stuff on, I'm gonna put an arm around them so they don't get killed as quick. Okay, um, bye.
so I don't know if we have to do 10 battles in multiplayer or 10 battles in raids. It says complete in raids, I just did one and it didn't even do nothing. So um, I'm going to try this one, see if it works for this too. It might not be, this might be raids. If it's raids, I can do that easily because the cars are there, it's like, they're like not even that hard. Except for the boss and the purple ones are kind of hard, but the little ones are even like two shots and they're almost dead. These are probably the easiest one to do. This and cargo race is probably the easiest. Cargo race, you just have to go around and just take over 10 things and you win. Or pump jack's a little hard because you have to like, look around for yourself. And it's kind of hard to find them. The last the last one is pretty much harder unless you like, unless you go around the whole map and you figure it out. But, uh, yeah, pretty much the, this one's easy. And, um... The cargo race is easiest to me. I'm trying to get the rare package. It depends on. Okay, if you do, if you do easy, you get a common one. If you do normal, you get a rare one. If you do hard, you get like a legendary one. So I'm doing rare right now. I'm gonna try to do legendary later on. Um, wait on, I'll probably make a video of Infant Warfare or Black Ops 3. I'm trying to think which one I'm going to do. You tell me what you want me to do. Either Black Ops 3 or Infant Warfare. If you, um, whichever one gets the most, uh, votes, that's what I'll do. But I don't have Black Ops 3. I don't have the Black Ops 3 Chronicles yet. I'm going to get that soon. But, um, if you want to do Infant Warfare or Black Ops 3, you can tell me through comments and yeah it's pretty much or you can just do it right here on my uh, broadcasting I don't care which one you pick it doesn't matter I'll play either of them they're both really good and I both like them both I mean I like them both And if the video reaches 100 likes, I'll um, try to make you, I'll play Black Ops 3 or Infant Warfare until like 12 o'clock if you want me to, or uh, all night if you want me to. So 100 likes, I can play as long as you want me to. Black Ops 3 or Infant Warfare, depends, it depends on if I get 100 likes, then I just do whatever you want. Black Ops 3 for however long you want me to, or, or Infant Warfare for however long you want me to. Or another game. I have Watch Dogs. I have um, GTA 5. And the other ones, the other ones I don't really have are good because they're just they don't work as good anymore. All scratched up and yeah. So I have GTA 5, Black Ops 3, Infant Warfare, and Watch Dogs too. So it, depends, it doesn't matter which one, one you pick, you can pick one of them to be the play all night or or all day tomorrow. It just depends on whatever one you pick. Or I can play this too if you want to all night or all tomorrow. Just a hundred likes.
So yeah, copper, scrap metal, and uh, wire is probably the best thing to sell. Try to save up to like at least 5,000 of scrap metal because that's like over $700. At least 100 to 500 copper because copper is hard to get. I mean, it's not hard, but it takes forever. Unless you want to get 5,000, then it's probably a lot of money. And wiring, probably over 5,000 or 1,000. You get that really quickly out of the, you can either get that out of the daily rewards or the rare rewards.
Oh god, that was close. Huh? Alright, I'll be back. Hey guys.
I just had to do something. <coughs> so, um, pro we're probably gonna just do this for an hour, cause, uh, or two, maybe, if I could. But I don't know. If I get cut out in the middle, then you're gonna, I don't know, I'll have to edit it, probably. I'm gonna stop talking a little bit so we can go ahead and just get this done. Uh, we have to do 10 battles of this, I think, or 10 battles in Money Player. I don't know what it is. She wanted chips. I'm in the middle of something. He's the one tired of saying that he wants the answer. Where am I going to be here? Yeah. 
circles. Still, there's still one there, still watching. No. Yeah. No. You see how much you're really going.